Hey, this is Joe here. This is my third or fourth attempt at making homemade bagels. Been using the recipe that I have been provided earlier, but I've used the docilic malt powder and also gluten powder, gluten, gluten flour. No, wait, what is it called? Whole wheat gluten? Let's go to the cabin. Hold on, I'm totally forgetting what the hell this is. Okay, it's not the semolina. Here it is. Okay, so this is called wheat gluten. See right there? Wheat gluten. So what happens is if you add this to regular flour, it makes bread flour. Then, on top of that, for bagels, this is my baking cabinet, by the way, so I'm just going through here. Where is my malt powder? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is called dry malt let me bring it out so you can see what I'm talking about here. This is called dry malt powder. Now this actually makes the bagels freaking awesome. I learned that online. And since I don't have the dry malt syrup, they said for boiling the water, you can use, you can use molasses. So what I did was I boiled the uh, bagels in molasses and then I baked them off and this is how they came up. So I got two onion, two poppy, and two sesame. Nice and crispy on the outside. Look at that nice shape. It actually blows up in the um, oven, I've noticed, because I guess I'll maybe go back to that powder. So what happens is this powder has enzymes in it that gives the bread very airy and that taste that the bagels do. And then on top of that, so that this uh, whole wheat gluten basically added to all-purpose flour and makes a bread flour because that high gluten content is what you need for bread. So... That's my uh, story about my bagels. Again, I'm getting really pretty proficient on these. These are 4.5 ounce dough each bagel. I could make them a little bigger, but as you can tell, they blew up pretty nicely, so I'm not gonna mess with it. And if I do make any changes to the recipe, I'll let you know. And eventually I'll post my end result recipe online once I get it down to a science. All right, take care. Jersey Joe, The Average Chef.